hey, this is Shiraz, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I clear it for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. What are we working on? Self-esteem, self-worth. I'm good. scared about doing business because I'm not going to be good enough. Mm. Okay. So you have, what, what will it take before you're good enough? Um, I probably already am. I'm so overwhelmed in classes and learning that I, I'm exhausted. Okay. <laughs> I've been um, doing a lot of different things. I'm trying to get certified. And I think a lot of it has to do with something that a lot of healers have, which is it has to be perfect. And it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I understand that intellectually. Okay. What's going to happen if you're not perfect at what you do? Then it's not going to work. Uh, it's not going to work for people. And um, I have to, I know I have to release the fear of not being able to fix people, but it's not my job to fix anybody. It's their job. Okay. And again, I get the intellectual aspect of it. I just have a hard time releasing the emotional aspect of it. So are you willing to step out of the story that if you're not perfect, it's not going to work? I am. If it doesn't work, how are you going to feel? I would feel disappointed, but uh, it just, I have to remember that if you have a headache and I have a headache, aspirin mm -hmm. may work for you and Tylenol may work for me. And okay. I understand, again, I understand that aspect that plus the person has to be open and it's their work, not my work. Yep. Yeah, you've got this wonderfully intellectually. <laughs> I <do. laughs> Okay. I want you to be really honest, though. How would you feel if someone paid you and you didn't get results? I would feel disappointed. Is, is it just disappointed? That's, that's as deep no, as I probably I would probably be a little angry at myself because I wasn't doing something right. Okay. So... That's that's a deeper emotion. That's a bigger reaction, right? And remember, your mind is trying to avoid emotional distress. So the intention when you're trying to help someone is that they're going to get amazing results. You want to be in a place of allowance that some people are going to get amazing results, some people are going to get mediocre results, and a few people aren't going to get any results at all. And unless you're in that space, you will keep finding excuses not to move forward in your business so that as long as you don't have any clients, you don't have to disappoint anyone and you don't have to be angry at yourself for what you're doing. Right? I've, met, I've met so many healers that are on their sixth, seventh, thirteenth modality, trying to get it perfect to make sure that they got all the bases covered. And yes. like, yeah, um, fail forward. <laughs> Me. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to feel angry, frustrated, disappointed if you don't get results? I am 100% ready.
I want you to get this. There's not a coaching program in the world. There's not a healer in the world that has not failed to get results with some people. I'm totally aware of that. Okay. So it's okay. You're not in your head, but your energy's in a different space. Okay. Yeah. You know, there are other thoughts going on in my head. Like, I think I was also angry because I would feel I would have to give the money back because I failed, that kind of thing. If you want to, that's your choice. Okay. But it's not even, it's, and here's the thing, I might have to give the money back. It's not about you having to give the money back. How would you feel if you were giving that money back? I'm sure I would feel guilty. Okay. Um, because I didn't succeed. Yep. Uh, I think I would be frustrated mm -hmm. and um, probably would wonder what the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay. So again, your mind prior to the avoid prioritizes the avoidance of emotional distress. And the biggest emotions it tries to avoid are guilt and shame. So you're, you've decided like, if it's a failure, I have to feel guilty and that guilt is powering. Let's give them the money back. Right. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to avoid clients so you can avoid possible guilt? Yes. <laughs> Are you willing to step out of the story that when you fail, you should feel guilty? Yes. Ooh. Okay. And again, this isn't about, you know, I'm just going to work with people and if they get results, they get results and, and I don't really give a crap about them. It's about, no, I'm going to do the best I can. But if we're not in alignment, if there's no change, I'm not going to feel guilty about them because I gave the best that I could. Yes. Okay. Cool. How's that feel? Uh, it's a sense of relief. Cool. And um, a piece of me wants to cry. Uh and cry. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed because this has been with me forever. It's these are very common beliefs for healers. And I know I do know that. So I have the I've always had the intellectual part. I just couldn't get rid of all the other crap. Okay. All right. Time for all that crap to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.